Hi, this is Amanda Miller from the RedCap Desk. I wanted to show you some of the big changes coming up in RedCap 7.0 before we upgrade at the end of the week. As you can see, RedCap's gotten a little bit of a makeover. Instead of navigating by tabs, as you do on the current version, all of the main RedCap links are now at the top of the page. This change is basically cosmetic with the same information available on each tab. The general design's been simplified to create a sleeker new look and the font's been updated to help improve readability. There are a few big changes that will affect how you navigate and use REDCap that I wanted to show you before the user group meeting and before we release 7.0 for you. The first one has to do with records. When you go to the record status dashboard now, you can also navigate to the record homepage. On the record homepage, you'll be able to see all the information for a specific record, the forms and the statuses, but you'll also be able to make any changes here. You can download your PDF of all the data for this record. You can lock this, rename, or delete your record from here. In a longitudinal project, you'll be able to delete all the information in an event for this record on the record home page. And if you have data access groups, you can assign the record to a group on its record home page. This is really your one-stop shop for all your record level activities. Inside a form, things look just a little bit different as well. They've changed the save buttons so that you have your save and exit form, and then a drop-down menu with, your, with other alternatives save and stay, which is the form of save and continue, or save and go to next form. These options are also smart. They'll learn what your preferred option is within a project and default to that after you've made the same choice a few times. The other big change I wanted to show you is the new repeating forms in REDCap. To use repeating forms, you first need to enable it. It's the new first item under Enable Optional Modules and Customizations. When you click on the Enable button, you'll be able to choose which instruments in the project you want to be able to repeat. This will work something like a longitudinal project, where you'll be able to use the same form multiple times. Each repeating form will get a specific label like a longitudinal project so that you can refer specifically to that form. If you want to, you can also create a custom label for repeating events. Here, you can pipe in information from that event. For example, now when I enter information in the fields here, It'll show up as the label for the event. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this repeating instrument works. To do this, I'll add a new record. Now, demographics isn't a repeating instrument, so I just enter the information here in once. Then I'm going to save and go to the next form. And you can see it's noticed my preference and has already updated it here. Now I can add, start adding in medications. And I have a new option in my save menu, save and add new instance. This just brings up a second copy of the form, and you can see that it says I'm still in record two, and I'm still in the medica medicines form, but now I'm on instance two of two. I can enter new medication here. And if I want to then, I can save and add another instance. And here you can see I'm on three of three. Now if I save and exit, 
On the record homepage, I can see that I have multiple instances of medicines. I can click to add a new one, or I can go back to the record homepage, and I can see the different medicines that I've entered in. The dot with multiple circles next to it will show as green if all the statuses are complete, yellow if all the statuses are unverified, and red if all the statuses are incomplete. If it's mixed, it will show as blue. You can also use these repeating instances in surveys. So if I enable surveys in the project, and then make this a survey, I can scroll down to the bottom, and I have this option here to allow respondents to repeat the survey. This will let them add multiple instances. You can choose what the text you want to say on the button is, and where you want the button to show up before or after the survey is completed. Here that you can see the survey is set to allow repeating instances. So now let's go back into that record. and open this as a survey. They can fill in the name, put in all the appropriate information, and then here at the bottom they can click to submit and then add another person. And they can continue to do this as many times as they need to. You might be wondering how this will look when you go to do your export in your reports. With your export, it's going to look a lot like a regular longitudinal project. So you can see here where I have multiple instances. Each instance is getting its own line, the same as an event would on a longitudinal project. The difference is on a longitudinal project, you'd have to have all this set up in advance, and you'd have to have the same amount available for every record in the project. With the repeating forms, you can repeat as many times as you happen to need just for that one person. Your reports are going to look very similar to this. So let's create a new report and add a couple of instruments to it. So now we have an example of, re of a non-repeating and a repeating form in this report. Let's go ahead and save. And here you can see, again, it looks a lot like a regular longitudinal project. Each repeat instance of each repeat form gets its own line, and then you have a line for the non-repeating instances as well. At the user group meeting coming up in February, we'll be going over all of this and the other changes in REDCap in a lot more detail, and we're looking forward to exploring all the possibilities of this new feature with you. Thank you.